Meanwhile, this from earlier today from Brett McMurphy, uh, this is the college football week. Remember yesterday the vote to go five to seven, five conference champions, seven at large. McMurphy with this earlier today in reference to what Ross Dellinger was told by Kirk Schultz, who does say a lot. Um, the new 12-team playoff, four automatic qualifiers from one conference was proposed. If so, it wouldn't be just one so both the SEC and the Big Ten, you would think, would propose having four automatic bids, leaving only four bids for the remaining seven conferences slash Notre Dame at that particular point. That was at least what Dellinger was told by Washington State uh, President Kirk Schultz. Well, and, and part of the reason Kirk Schultz is going to let that out there is because that's, one, a terrible idea, and the public needs to know about it. Two, uh, the mathematical crisis that it could solve, that it could create, because, look, there are years where, yes, given the size of those two conferences, which as it stands today, and who knows where it goes, but right now they have 34 teams. They have more teams than the NFL, yeah. NBA, MLB yeah. as leagues have. Yeah. So between the two of them, they have 34 teams. So reasonably, this is one of those things that maybe you ask for four and you get two. I mean, that's what they are they would be trying to do. But if you asked for four and got four, which I don't think any of those other conferences or Notre Dame would agree to, would mean that if you go through eight teams in each of those leagues, there's a pretty reasonable expectation that maybe in one or both of them that the fourth-ranked team in either one of them is below 12, right? So if one of them is 15th, then they could jump – have to jump three teams that are better than them just because they got an automatic? I don't think you can do that. Yeah. I, you know, you, if you, it's one through 12 based on what the committee decides in the last week of the season or the last week of when they do the standings. So if you have a team in the SEC or the Big Ten that's the fourth best but they're 15th, they don't get in. Uh, that, unless, of course, there's some shenanigans, and but, we've thought about the possibility like, that's been the case too. But if there's four automatic qualifiers, and if you're the Big Ten – and Michigan is second, and Ohio State is fifth, and Oregon is seventh, but then the next best team is, say, Penn State, and they're 16th. Right. Just because of how the cookies crumbled, you're going to have Penn State jumping over 14, everyone, 14. at least four yeah. teams to yeah. get to that spot, and and then maybe there could be another. Like, that to me was where you run into you the where do the that. math doesn't matter. You can't. If they're not in the top 12, no matter how many automatic qualifiers guaranteed to a conference, it's got to be four guaranteed if you are a part of the top 12 based on how Which these is rules why are why they set. shouldn't do it. Yeah. Well, I mean, they could easily fill that field with just those two. If you look at the final sure rankings coming out of the uh, last weekend of the regular season, the championship weekend, if you include the teams that were – in the Big 12 or in the Pac-12 that are now going to be in those two conferences, then you've got the top 13 teams. Now, granted, is Texas 12-1 and one if they're playing the SEC schedule? I, I don't know. Is Oklahoma 10-2? and two? I, I don't know. Is Oregon 11-2? and two? Who knows? Uh, Washington, are they 13-0? and 0? I mean, the odds of all of them being exactly what they were aren't great, but those are the four teams that were all in that top 12 that are now going to be a part of those two conferences. So if you look at the final rankings before the playoff last okay, year... you got it in front of you. Good. All of the top 13 teams are from those two conferences now. Now, will it be that way once they all enter and they all have to play those schedules? Yeah. Um, well, you've gotten to a point now where you've kind of rigged it. You have so many teams, 18, 16 that you can have a lot of hard games, but yet it's not like every single week has this juggernaut that it's being made out to be where it's like this fantasy where it's Ohio State followed by Michigan, followed by Penn State, followed by Washington, followed by... Like, nobody's playing that schedule. There's going to be an Indiana jumped in, jumping in there. There's going to be a Northwestern. There's going to be, you know, whoever else. So it's not going to be just a murderer's row week after week after week like it, it probably plays in our minds when you think of all these big brands under a couple of umbrellas. But that right there is an example. Now, that's after their current alignments, though. So, again, I'm not sure how it would shake out. But I, I do know this. I'm with the, the comment of, like, just break off already. Like, yeah. I mean, just save us all this time and just go ahead and do it. And if there's something preventing you, then just go ahead and speak to that. But the whole kind of, like, 
the the secrecy and the, the shroud and the the whole you're wondering when the the dagger is going to get pulled from under the cloak of Sankey at some point or another like we all just feel it coming and know that it's been teased and flirted uh you know about in the media so often that it's not a coincidence this keeps getting brought up and brought up by many of the same people so it's clear that there is at least some group of people pointing things in that direction if not the networks themselves and so if that's the case, just go on and slit the throat of everybody else and get it over with, and let's move on to whatever it's going to look like. Because this whole dragging the process out, I understand part of that's the legal system. Florida State's got to get unhooked from the ACC, and there's questions to be answered there. But yeah, at this point, it's just getting kind of silly how everything that even occurs is automatically followed up by some other way that it can benefit you know, those two and those two more than anybody. And I get why the money and the ratings and all of that. We, we, we know why they're the biggest, they're the baddest. We don't have to tell them that every single day, but yeah, the constant teasing of, well, this is just the, the calm before the storm or it's the storm before the bigger storm. I, I'm just kind of just move on already. Like, Hey, if, if Kansas state's going to be playing in a different playoff than Alabama, can we just fast forward to that point yeah. already? Because my God, the, uh, the dragging out of it is, um, and the the politicking of, no, that's not what we're trying to do, even though everybody is assuming that's exactly what you're trying to do. Just say it. And if you can't, then, you know, I, I guess that's a legal thing maybe. But Kansas uh, is building a – you're right. Kansas is building a brand-new stadium or renovating. Baylor has McLean Stadium. TCU, Amon Carter, Tech is adding to what they have at uh, – what is it? Jones AT&T Stadium. All these schools have added, added, added. Did they do that so they would be a part of a second tier? They may not that, – that, that may be the case. Will they lose donations? Will people spend less? Will they not care about NIL? How does that affect those programs that if, in fact, they are separated from whatever might be at the top top level if they're not a part of it? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Those are all questions that when the time comes, you can worry about those. But I, mean, I think yeah, you've got to worry the, about before the time. I, mean, right? I, think, you have to, I yeah. think you have to worry about it. I don't think we need to debate on, like, well, what do you do if NIL doesn't – I mean, that's for Mac Rhodes or for Kirby Hocutt or for those guys to worry about right at this very moment. Now, inevitably, that'll be a conversation. But I don't think it's a, it's a conversation to really have until that time comes. Um, and we have more details, but there's just been so much chatter about that. I'm not all in on that belief necessarily. I don't think that there's this um, necessarily a, it's 34 and they play in the, the NFC AFC thing, but a lot of signs point to that. I know there's a lot of fear amongst a lot of fans about that. And so I'm just at the point now where it feels like there's been this slow trickle for like an entire month now of the, the, the teasing of it all. And I just, uh, yeah, would love to just see Jim Sankey or, or excuse me, Greg Sankey yeah. uh, come out and just say, yeah, the playoff ends in two years. And that's when we're going to start the super two bowl bash or whatever the hell yeah. it's going to be, you know, just get to it already and, and quit trying to drag uh, other people along and say, no, it's all, we're all going to still be together and they're still going to find a way. If that's the case, then maybe tamper down some of the other talk about that not being the case, because I feel like most of the time you're saying the one thing and then behind the scenes, people are feeding Ross Dellinger or Brett McMurphy or whoever the complete opposite narrative. So the messaging is different for a reason and uh, and most people are assuming it's for the reason that uh, most people don't, that a lot of people would not want to see, which is that that breakaway. But time will tell, I guess. Uh, from Justin, who sent me a note, I think it was a, actually a text to our text line a few weeks back. The NIT playoff thing I texted a few weeks ago looks better and better each day. Uh, I just don't think that's going to work. I, I I know it's an idea. I think that if there is a breakaway, I think you will see some programs that will be a shell of themselves because people are spending money building or renovating stadiums. They're not doing it. it with all due respect, I love the FCS playoffs. I love the way football does it and basketball does it. But I, they're not doing all that. It's giving coaches six, seven, eight million dollars a year to be a part of a secondary level of college football that's not the national championship. But again, they may not have much well, of a choice at some I, point. I think it's going to be interesting to see how that fight will be because there'll be universities that say, well, we're just, especially if they're given an option, like, look, if you want to spend to this level, you can come to this level. And they're going to say, well, we don't know if we can do that. There's going to be big power brokers, though you bet your ass you can. Uh, otherwise, we're, we're, out, we're not building you science labs because they want everything to be, they don't want to compete for the lesser title. They want to be in the big one. And... It, it, uh, yeah, it's it's weird. Just, but I'm with Craig. Just tell us what your nefarious, evil plan is, and if 
if somebody can come in and thwart it, fine. If not, you know, I I want to welcome our new alien overlords and look forward to the future. I yeah, haven't I seen just, a lot from the commissioner's meetings, by the way, that are going on today, uh, other than that comment from Schultz to Dellinger from Brett McMurphy. Yeah, I just I, I don't want to go on a rant about all of that, but it's just been a com- com- constant conversation, like almost daily now for a couple of weeks, it seems like. And the reason why I, I bring it up the way that I bring it up is, again, I'm, I'm not necessarily... Uh, I would say I'm not predicting that's what's going to happen because I don't have the slightest clue of where this is all going other than there's a lot of science pointing to that. But I bring that up the way that I do because they just passed the new playoff yesterday, right? Mm-hmm. And before it was even official, there was already a report about the SEC and the Big Ten wanting to take over like four automatic spots apiece. Like before the ink was dry on the 12 team, that's only a two-year contract, there was already the positioning. So... That's just, that's been constant with every single story. It's like, oh, well, they've agreed to this, but there's assurances. And I, I, hey, throw your power around and do it. But man, yeah, let's just, let's get to the point where people know what's what and we can kind of focus on what's what rather than, uh, rather than what may be. And I, and I understand that's, that's part of realignment is that game of like, where will people be in five years? Um, but this whole idea of kind of saying, no, it's, it's all going to be, it's it, we're, we're looking at changes. We're and looking then at every, what's best for the ecosystem. Yeah, the, yeah. the eco, you talk about the ecosystem, and then the the before the the last signature even got done, like the Y was curled. You're already sending out flares to ESPN and Yahoo Sports about how the two of you want to have like three fourths of the field automatically, and so that just that, how much that seems of that to be doing one thing. How much of that is well, public negotiation? Of, yeah, a yeah, lot of it, yeah. but I don't feel like you really need to do that. I know, not if you're doing what's best for the ecosystem. <laughs> if you have all yeah. the power, all the biggest brands, like why are you needing to float out to Twitter that uh, you're wanting this certain arrangement? I mean, I don't think that we're going to do anything to stop it, no matter how much we pound the table for access for the G5s or for a Big 12 guarantee or the ACC to have their automatic whatever, no matter what we would say in any circumstance, we're not changing things. So I, I get that. that Yeah, it's, some of it's just the public politicking, but I don't really feel that that's all that necessary if you're them because you already have basically all the the best cards. So uh, yeah. it, 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 And it's a great question for a commissioner and or ADs over the next few weeks, once all the dust settles, if it ever does. Uh, Stuart Mandel, uh, 